Hello, hello, fellow Earth scientists. Mr. Avery, we're starting uh, meteorology uh, today, and I have a gizmo for you guys. Uh, let me quickly share my screen, uh, and we're going to work on this uh, gizmo. Uh, so, first thing you're going to do is come to the, the gizmo page uh, on, on your Canvas page. It says, first, you got to go to your Clever page and find the Explore Learning Gizmo uh, for comparing climates. I don't want you to do the questions inside the Gizmo page at the bottom. But I want you to do the quiz on here. So the first thing you got to do is go to your Clever page. Obviously, we've done this before. And you're going to see the Gizmo rostering here. Click the Gizmo rostering. Make sure you log on to your Google. And you're going to find one that says Comparing Climates Customary. So you click that open and launch the gizmo and you're going to see a gizmo about climates and you got three different tabs up here at the top you got one that says the world map uh, and you have landscapes and you have your data so let's start here at the world map uh, and uh, and you got different cities of different locations on here uh, from new york to kansas city san francisco miami yellow knife um, Manaus, Cairo, Barcelona, uh, and Sydney. So lots of different cities on here all throughout the world. There's the equator right there, right? Uh, and then there's the poles up top. So lat that's, lat that's zero degrees latitude. That's up here, it's really high latitudes. Or oh, this is low latitude. High latitudes up here, I'm sorry. High latitudes up here, it's cold. It's the poles. Uh, low latitude, zero right there. So different cities, and you can flip through the different cities on here and see on the world map. On the landscape, you can do the same thing. You can even compare two locations together, compare um, Manaus with Kansas City and see what the average temperature, precipitation, wind speed, and humidity is like. And you can even click on the animals to learn a little bit about the animals on here. Uh, I don't know if you can do it on that one. Barcelona, you can click on the animal to learn about the animals. Yeah. Uh, and then your data table. Uh, you can look at different data uh, from temperature, precipitation, wind speed, and humidity. So once you familiarize yourself uh, with looking at this, you can compare two different locations uh, and the different, the different wind speeds, precipitation. Uh, you can even do line graphs or bar graphs. We've learned them all. Uh, just see the different different data. So once you've familiarized yourself with the gizmo and clicking around the gizmo, now I want you to come back and answer these questions on here. Uh, and I do have the notes pages for you. You can open up the climate notes pages right there. Open them up and there's the climate note pages. I like to say open with Google Docs and the gizmo, come back to the, the, the quiz here and start answering the quiz. So question one, in the comparing climates gizmo, you will compare weather conditions, landscapes, and wildlife from different parts of the world. To begin, choose Barcelona from location one on the menu. Select the landscape tab. Barcelona is a city in Spain that is located in the Mediterranean Sea. You are looking at a landscape near Barcelona. Drag the slider from January to December. Based on what you observe, do you think Barcelona has large temperature changes throughout the year? So we come back to the gizmo, uh, find the landscape. Uh, let's go to one location. We're going to find Barcelona. And so now I'm looking at the landscape. I'm going to drag this across. Uh, and I'm going to see how the temperature changes throughout the year. And so you'll come back and, and answer this question. Are the temperatures cold all year? Temperatures vary from 54 to 79. Temperatures are hot all year with the average of 79. Temperatures change very small, changing only five degrees. So come back to the gizmo and I'm looking at, it changes quite a bit, all the way to 79 is the high, seems like. And then the low coming back to January is 54. So there's quite a bit of temperature changes. So if I came back to this gizmo, it's gonna be that one. So all of these questions on here, or you can answer straight from the gizmo. Uh, so just take your time, answer the questions from the gizmo, 
when you're ready, click submit. I'm giving you three tries to get this right. And, and if, you, if you don't get 100, you didn't use all three tries, then you're not doing the right thing. I expect hundreds on here because I'm giving you three tries and just do the best you can. I might put this in as a lab grade, so do the best you can. So bye for now.